Hi, my name is Jeff Brown. I wrote a synthesizer for the Monom that we use as just intonation, and I want to tell you about it. So it uses what, are, what I'm calling generators, although in the code they use different words a little bit. But anyway, there's these two generators. One of them is for one dimension, and one of them is for the other. They're both scales. So here we've got one scale that reads 1-1. One, one. They both start at 1-1. One, one. They have to start at 1. Well, I guess they don't, but it's weird if they don't. Um, okay, so uh, I'm assuming you know just intonation, so I'm not going to explain what this scale is. But anyway, what it means is that in the vertical or in the horizontal direction, I've got that many notes. I think that's eight notes, and in the vertical direction, I've got fewer. So you can pick either of those generators yourself, and you get some cool sounds. If you play something that it all lies in a, a single row or in a single column, then you're guaranteed it'll sound pretty consonant. But if you go diagonal, it gets really weird. So, how do you do it? Well, if you want to start, first you have to get into, into Haskell. And once you're in Haskell, so like run Haskell at the command prompt, and then you type go, and that's all. And it'll show you the two scales that you chose. But you have to, what you have to do to choose scales is edit this file. So there's a few ways you can write your scale. Here I've got the one scale is called gen, and the other scale is called shift. Those are the only two lines that you have to edit. Right, these two right here. Um, so anyway, there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. You could just write out the scale. Right, that's probably the easiest. Uh, but you could also uh, write out numbers. Here I'm saying I want, I want 1, 3, 7, and 21, but I want you to put them all in the first octave. So instead of 3, it'll be 3 over 2. Instead of 7, it'll be 7 over 4. Instead of 21, it'll be 21 over 16. Or you could do even weirder stuff, like you can say, give me all the numbers from 1 to 9, and then put them in the first octave, and then throw out duplicates, because 1, 2, 4, and 8 are all powers of 2, so they all map to the same note when they're in the same octave, and then sort those. Uh, or you could do this. You could say, give me all the primes that are less than or equal to 7, and also, give me all the subprimes, those are of the form 1 over n, where n is prime. Give me all the subprimes that are greater than or equal to 1 over 7. And uh, yeah. So there's a bunch of ways you could do that. Um, you kind of have to know Haskell in order to, well, I guess you don't. But uh, really, you don't need to know anything except how to, how to write a list of numbers. So yeah, and this is open source, but you do need a monome. And they're kind of hard to find. So sorry about that. This is Jeff Brown signing off. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.